Hey guys, and welcome to the first ever episode of Everything Science here on YouTube. On today's episode, we'll be looking at these little guys. The HMS Beagle landed on San Cristobal. No other rocket even comes close. Who's at fault for these fires? One mile is 5,280 feet. At approximately 10 billion light years across its longest length, Face reveal in three, two, one. Ayo! That's a little bit of a joke. Uh, I actually used to be in my videos on camera, um, but especially because so many of you guys are so new, you might not have even seen my face, so I figured why not set this up as a face reveal. So yeah, like 1K subscribers, that's a really big deal. Uh, at first when I was thinking, how did I want to make this video? I was thinking I'd do it in sort of my normal style where I'm not on camera, kind of just speaking into the mic, but it honestly felt a lot less personal. Um, so I started writing a script for the video and then that too kind of felt really impersonal. So I figured I'd just kind of talk into the camera um, and kind of explain about the channel, a little bit where I think it's going and especially a big thank you. Um, it's a little funny, and I'm probably gonna say um way too many times to steal. Um, God. So I started the channel about 18 months ago, back in January of 2019, and I always knew a lot about STEM and science topics, and I did a lot of work in education, but as you could probably see, my videography skills and my storytelling skills really weren't that good. So for a long time, I didn't really get any views just as I tried to make my videos better. So I still remember when there would be months when I got maybe 100 views and like 10 subs versus in the last month alone, we've gotten more views than in that first whole year. And in the last few days alone, we've gotten more subscribers, more than 200 than I did in the whole first year that I was doing YouTube. So the growth really means a lot. And especially just because I remember when I never got any views and when comments were so rare, I really value them so much that that's why I'm always responding to them because I'm really just trying to connect with anyone that watches my videos just because I'm so thankful for it. So I just want to talk a little bit about the future of the channel and where I see it going. So obviously a thousand subscribers is a really great benchmark, um, but there's still a lot in the future of the channel. So I'm actually still in school and uh, college and I'm going back for one last year and then I'll be graduating. Um, and right now where I'm at, I'm actually in California, uh, right outside SF, one of the most expensive places to live in the world. And because of that, my setup, I can't really be on camera and make it nice, which is why I stopped being on camera. But eventually I would like to get back on camera with a set, sort of like what PBS does, or maybe a little bit what SciShow does. Um, just cause I feel like on some topics that comes across better, but obviously I'll want to feel that out with you guys. There's also a lot of ideas as we grow that I want to have, like working with sponsors to do giveaways for various things. Um, like some ideas I already have are having some of those like 3D metal poster prints of, I don't know, maybe like rocket launches or something that I can give away on camera. The good news, bad news about that, usually for them to want to work with me, the channel does have to be a little bit bigger. So hopefully as we grow, uh, into the rest of the year. Hopefully we can start doing some giveaways and some really cool things. Um, besides being on camera, there's also, because I'm still in school, um, at, I go to UC Berkeley, I have the potential to interview some really interesting people that do a lot of really interesting research. So if that's something you guys are into, uh, that's definitely something I'm looking into being able to set up. But again, those things are easier to do kind of as the channel grows. We've also got some other types of videos in the works. Um, one specific one is quick bits. So there'll be normal videos, except they'll be shorter, like two to three minutes, covering either quick topics or questions fan submit. And the reason those are nice is because some topics just really aren't long enough for let's say an eight minute video. And the other thing is they'll help us keep up production schedules um, and let us make more videos for you guys. Rather than only doing one a week, we can try to get up to two a week with the quick bits. Um, and actually we have some of them made, so here's a quick preview of what's to come. In all, they can travel up to six miles away from the hive, but after they fill up on pollen, they don't retrace their steps on that irregular path, but instead fly in a straight line back to the hive. But how do they do that? How do they know their way back to the hive? According to TV, the polygraph is a fail-safe way to get to the truth and find out when someone is lying. But in real life, they fail to live up to the hype. The lie detector would be better suited as a fear detector. 
From the Carolina Reaper to the Dragon's Breath, adventurous eaters are constantly on the hunt to taste the next hottest thing. Some have even tried a drop of pure capsaicin, the potent chemical that gives peppers their heat. But the hottest chemical we know of isn't made by pepper, and it isn't even really a food. It's a compound called resiniferotoxin. And trust me, you do not want to eat it. And like I said, I also have one more year of school left, so to make sure we could keep releasing videos during that time, we've actually worked over the last two or three months to create a sort of backlog of content so we can keep up our production schedule. Um, so here are some of the thumbnails for some of the videos to come. There are more of them. We don't want to give everything away, but hopefully you see a couple of the videos that really pique your interest and you're looking forward to. And just know that those videos are coming out in the near future. Um, so yeah, I guess kind of the, the main thing is, well, what's a little tough for this channel is at least right now, YouTube doesn't recommend that many of my videos on YouTube search. So the main way I grow is actually by like channel pages, which is kind of unusual. So that's people coming to the channel a lot of times by comments. Cause I'm not, a lot of you guys know you've come to my channel through com my comments on other channels. Um, but so until, especially until I get more YouTube search views, it's a little harder to grow right now. So if you're ever wondering what's like the main thing you can do to support the channel, if you like the content and want to see more is just share the videos with your friends. Like my last video was my best performing video. So if you really want to see the channel do well and grow, it would be a great idea if you shared that video with some of your friends so we could get more subscribers that would help us with having higher video quality, having higher video production, um, producing more videos and doing some more of those things like collaborations with other big YouTubers or with sponsorships for companies, just being bigger kind of makes all of those things easier. So if you really like the channel and want to see us keep growing, then be sure to uh, support the channel and share it with your friends. And one other thing I want to say just about small channels in general, you know, it's really nice that a lot of people watch my videos because compared to a channel, let's say with a thousand subs and a team of editors, let's say my lighting quality might be a bit off. My audio might be a bit worse. Um, so there are downside sort of lower production quality to smaller channels, but there's also the upside of one, you're more likely to be able to talk to us small creators. For instance, like I respond to all the comments, but also multiple of the videos I've made were because someone in the comments recommended them. So you're more likely to get interactions. The other thing that's really cool is you can be part of the channel from the ground up. So besides just in the future, you can say, oh, if we ever get big, we were there from the first thousand, the first 2000 subs. The other thing is you can be part of kind of shaping the channel into what you want. There have been people in the comments that have suggested ways to improve the channel that I've adapted and used. So I always think that's kind of cool. You can be part of growing the channel uh, into whatever you want it to become. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around. And you know the best part about these videos? I still can't run any ads because I don't have enough watch time. So you still get ad-free content. It's a pretty good deal. And yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a fun ride on YouTube. And you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing where it can all go. I'd really love to do this potentially one day as a full-time job. Um, and even if by the time I graduated college, just a year from now, if we were big enough to do that, that would really mean a lot. So yeah, as I always say, have a great day and remember, there's always more to learn.